Like normally it's people who move across a bridge, mm -hmm. but in this case it might be the bridge right. that's on the move. Vigo County Commissioners approved a contract for design services needed to relocate a historic bridge in Vigo County. The bridge goes across Prairie Creek just off State Road 63 in French Drive. Lindsay Jackson spoke with county officials about why it's important to keep this structure within the county. Lindsay. Dana, Mike, the, 19, the bridge that was built in 1941 has been a work in progress for nearly 20 years. Vigo County officials say it was only right that this historic structure remains right here in Vigo County. The steel railroad bridge sits above Prairie Creek just down the road from Prairie Creek Park. Larry Robbins, Vigo County engineer, says structures like this are important to the state. You know, there's not a lot of those around, um, so the state likes to hang on to those and preserve those if at all possible. The historic bridge will be redesigned and relocated to Prairie Creek Park. Adam Grossman, Vigo County Park Superintendent, says the relocation project will help with accessibility within the park. Well, we've got several needs through the Parks Department uh, to alleviate parking, uh, trail access, different things of that nature. So uh, we had several uh, projects um, slated where we'd like to have a bridge like that. Grossman also says it'll help the county better serve its citizens. It's just another resource uh, for the citizens of Vigo County, uh, a great partner. Uh, between you know the commissioners, the engineers department, uh, just uh, uh, great to be able to work with everybody and uh, come out with a product. I think everybody's going to be happy with. According to county officials, this bridge has been on and off the agenda for several years. Robin says he hopes the county is finally able to follow through to better serve the public. These projects kind of get pushed aside sometimes, which is just kind of unfortunate. So this is just hopefully we can keep this thing on track, get it going, get the funding in place, uh, get it get it built. Brad Anderson, president of the Vigo County Commissioner, says the project will jumpstart other projects within the area. The new bridge then will be constructed, and um, and so it'll give room for a new bridge that'll that'll be better for the uh, the lo local public. And then we'll have the historical bridge that, that means something to some people. They may have fished off that bridge or walked across that bridge in the day, and so but it'll still be part of Vigo County. There's currently no start date for when construction will begin or how much this project will cost. Lindsay, are there any other bridges in the county that could possibly need work? Yes, Mike, there is. According to county officials, they are responsible for maintaining at least 200 bridges altogether, both county and city-owned.